I think one of the most well-known bits of Sims lore is that Bella Goth was abducted by aliens in The Sims 2. It happened on Don Lothario's deck, deck, D-E-C-K, just to clarify, meaning that Don does know what happened. Dina Caliente is also trying to make a move on Mortimer to get his fortune, and Don's trying to make a move on Cassandra, Bella's daughter. I could play Happy Families, I mean, I could bring them back together and it'd be lovely, but I'm not going to do that. I've made a fake Bella Goth today, and we're going to try and steal Mortimer's money before the Calientes do. The whole conspiracy is an interwoven web of lies though, so there's a few sims that I think I need to deal with before I can win over Mortimer. You'll see what I mean, I've got plans for pretty much everyone involved in this, so let's jump into it. But this Bella Goth lookalike, Gela Buff, has moved into town, and when I say moved in, I've moved her into a local park that I built just before this. You can see in the top right corner that this is a business, it was just a way to make people show up onto the lot, so it felt like an actual park, but what this does mean is that people will obviously visit, which means I have more chance of finding who it is that I'm looking for, but if I'm going to grift Mortimer, I'm going to need to fund it. Fortunately, the paper girl has already arrived to drop off the paper right next to the shitters, so thank you very much for that. I'll just grab that for a job. It doesn't matter what it is, we just need enough money to get food, really. I'm going to take a job in business. I don't want the job, but it'll just keep me alive. Oh, I will take this computer though. I don't know if I need it, but I'll take it. I'm not going to sell it because that's too easy. I'll just stick it right there on the public park table and hopefully no one tries to steal it. People do keep ringing the doorbell, but the doorbell is the gents' toilets. So <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. We're just going to have to ignore it. But before I can make a move on Mortimer, I need to deal with our problem sims. Dean is already making a move on him, so we have to take her out. Nina is obviously Dina's sister, so we have to take her in as a prisoner, no witnesses. And Don obviously knows that Bella was abducted by aliens, so we need to intimidate him to not talk about it. Basically, we need to beat him in a fight. Then and only then are we allowed to make a move on Mortimer. I knew people would be jumping on this computer all the time, can you please? <laughs> it's mine. This is my park. Okay, some visitors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. So we've got Brandy Broke. Ah. Why pluralize it and tell me visitors are here when only one visitor is here? I don't need to know you, but I will say hi. But yes, Brandy, it's me. I'm back. It's me, Gala. I mean, Bella. Oh, this is unrelated to what I'm doing, but what a horrific looking dog. Who put balls on it? <laughs> I hate that. I'm going to keep getting pally with Brandy because I don't really know what else to do until someone shows up. What's the local gossip? I want to know where the fuck the Calientes are because I cannot find them. You're gossiping about the wrong person. Oh. My business is rank one. I forgot this was a business. Yeah, that's right, Gela. Get yourself to bed. We do have work in 17 hours, so best be well rested for it. Oh, I need charisma to get a promotion, though, so I'm going to let her sleep for as long as she needs. Oh, she's not even sleeping. She's just hanging out in it. What the fuck are you doing? Hurry up. <laughs> Go to bed. Do you realize I'll let it? It's getting that bed right now. Oh, uh, you have to press get in and sleep, so I didn't have to get back out. I'm just hanging back to see if there's anyone that we actually want to walk past this house. I think the first thing that I'm going to buy is a business sign so that I can get rid of these people when I want to and bring new people when I need them. Let's practice romance because I need charisma and I need Mortimer and romance is the way to go. Point of view, I am the mirror. Gives a kiss, Gella. Thank you. <laughs> Don Lothario's here. <laughs> it's four in the morning. What are you doing at the park? You creep. This is intentionally misleading, by the way, Don, because I'm about to turn into just a prick. I'm going to argue with you. I'm going to throw drinks at you. Oh, you're already being a prick. You don't like what I'm talking about. This is really going to speed things along for me. But I still need to beat him in a fight, which means I'm probably going to need to buy some exercise equipment because I don't think I'm going to beat him if I try and fight him now. Oh, no, I'm losing business fervor. I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, Don, I'm going to have to leave you to it because I've got work pretty soon. I'll just wash my hands 19 times before work. I probably should have gone to sleep at a different time too, but it's fine. I broke my sink. Brilliant. First day of work. Can I get a promotion straight away? Probably not, but I'd like to. Also, Dean is here, so can I please finish work? <laughs> please. I just needed to stay here for two more hours. Yes. Okay, I'm back, and I think she's in the toilet. No, she's not. Where is she? Oh, I got promoted. I really didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, there you are. What a very, very normal place to hang out. Oh, wow. Okay, the first thing I spoke about, she hated. Either way, I know you now. No, I'm exhausted. I'm going to get to... <laughs> Excuse me. Get the fuck out of my bed, please. I can't even get in it, and she's asleep. <laughs> right, I am getting the open for business sign now, because that is taking the piss. Everybody, get out. Dina... I'm glad I met you. I'll speak to you soon. I can afford a shower now, but is it weird to throw a shower here somewhere? I'll just connect the shower to the plumbing in the building. And then I can get showered behind it. <laughs> no one will know, apart from every single person walking down this 
quite busy street, actually, but it's fine. I'm going to do it anyway. Look at me having a natural shower, just as God intended. Anyway, time to get some sleep. I don't know if I need to go back to work. <laughs> One day is enough for me. What a tiring day that was. What I am going to do is chat to Dina as much as possible. I need to befriend her, I think. I've got two hours to kill and my needs are better than they've ever been. Guess I'll just chat with Angela. I'm fairly sure that's a random teen, but it's always good to know more people in the neighborhood so that I can pretend that I always lived here. Because <laughs> it's me, Bella Goth, not Gelaboth. All right, well, the carpool comes in an hour, but I'm not doing it. Let me call Dina. Can I invite the household over? Is it too soon? My psychic advisor has forbidden me from leaving the house today. I'm afraid I must comply. I know for a fact that if I open this business, you're going to turn up and I'll see straight through your lies. No, 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 no. Not today. Yep, Dina, I fucking knew it straight away. <laughs> How's that psychic advisor of yours? You lying cow. Okay, there we go. I am friends with Dina. That's the first part of our plan. It's time for us to get out of this park for good, though, I think. So I'm heading over to the Caliente household. Here we are, back to good old-fashioned salsa music. <laughs> it never stops in The Sims 2. So I'm going to wait until tonight, and I'm going to throw a party, and we're inviting over our new friend, Bella. We're just glad that she's back in the neighborhood. It's really good to have her. Right, let's throw a house by. It's too early to invite Mortimer around. I don't want him to know I'm in town yet, even though I'm still not the real Bella Goth. Yeah, this is a party. Here we go, girls. It's just us. Gella getting in some free food because she is 100% homeless. Come here, give me a hug, girl. It's great to see you. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm just going to turn that TV off, actually, because why is it so loud? I'm also going to turn it around. I don't know if that stops them from using it. But hopefully it does, because that is annoying. And Dina, being the lovely woman she is, she's going to introduce Gella to Nina. A good thing for us, it's not going to be a good thing for Nina. Oh, you could have put some fucking clothes on. This is embarrassing. Why is Don here? He said no to coming. Oh, here we go. Dina, how are you watching that backwards? I don't understand. But just because we're in someone else's house doesn't mean we can't control... Gella, <laughs> time to fight. But first things first, work out right in front of him. Show him that you're ready to knock him out, but wait until you're actually strong enough to knock him out. Dina and Nina don't seem to care that I'm in the house overnight, so I'm just going to stay here. I'll serve you dinner, though, so that you know I'm a good... I'm a good house guest, even if I am a forced house guest. I've moved in, whether you want me to or not. Okay, I have forced the sisters to share a bed, but... I've got mine. So I've skipped work again. I should just quit, to be fair, but I really, really like just cock teasing my managers that way, so I'm not going to turn up. I'm just going to work to get fired. I'm going to befriend Nina while I work for my relationship with Dina to go up to best friends so that I can get Dina to ask me to move in properly. Okay, we are close enough now that I can actually ask her to move in, so propose moving. She said no. <laughs> You're harmless. How could you say no to this? What a terrible decision. Oh, I got fired. <laughs> That's why she's so sad. Dina's desperate for a bath, but I'm just so depressed. Oh, she, wanted, she didn't want a bath, she just wanted to play in it. This is why I'm not moving here, Dina. You're fucking ridiculous. There we go. Finally, we're best friends. Now, Gella, please move in. It just makes sense. You chose a tent over this house. Yes, finally. Gella just joined the family and brought 28,000 simoleons. Where the fuck did I get that from? To be fair, the lot that I made was quite expensive, so... It does make sense, but still. Good. Nina, you stay upstairs. I'm going to need you to stay far away from the kitchen here. Dina, I want to show you how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. As a gift, I've bought you three rugs. And I'm just checking you don't have a fire alarm. Just for my own sake. Just for safety. No, you don't. Okay, good. Dina, come over here. <laughs> I want to show you something. Nina, get the fuck out of here. You go get in the hot tub, but that'll keep you busy. Now, Dina, we can chat while I cook. Or we'll just sit in silence if <laughs> if that's what you want. It seems like you do. Just pop the mac and cheese on the grill there. I'm just going to quickly step outside for something. But before I do it, my mum said the best way to get the best mac and cheese is to turn your oven around. I don't know why it works, but it does. And don't mind me. I'm just going to move the exercise machine slightly. It's all good. You just give me a shout when the oven timer beeps, okay? I'll be in the hot tub with your sis, just hanging out. Dina, you didn't tell me when it beeped. What happened? <laughs> Don't feel bad for her. She's trying to move in on my husband, who isn't technically my husband, because I'm not really Bella Goth. Well done, Gella. Pretending that you're actually upset. <laughs> You've done a great job there. You've really convinced Nina. Oh, she's going all out. She's even pretended to lose it. She's doing a really, really good job of faking it here. Nina, I don't know if you suspect it was me or not, so I'm just going to 
take you upstairs as well. The thing about Nina is that she wasn't actually trying to win over Mortimer though, so she's kind of an innocent bystander in this, so I'm not going to give her the same treatment as Dina because that's horrible. But what I am going to do is just smash the staircase leading upstairs and fill in that gap. <laughs> Just turn it to day so that I can see what I'm doing. But don't worry, Nina, you're getting everything you could ever want up here if everything you've ever wanted is eternal imprisonment. I've stuck some plumbing in the counter so this toilet can go there. And you can have a tin bath. So when it rains enough, you've got a bath. I mean, you do have a massive fucking hot tub there, but you'll stink of chlorine the whole time and that's not nice. You do need something fun though, so here is an ant farm. <laughs> That'll do ya. Now I just need to kick Don Lothario's ass and I can go meet my husband. So time to get training. Just gonna exercise through the night, almost at level 10 body skill. So by the time we find Don tomorrow, he's done for. Well, I didn't expect to find him straight away, but he was walking in at the same time as me. So Don, you've brought this on yourself. If you tell anybody that I'm not the real Bella, I swear to Christ. Yes, attack. Right, I'm not standing for that, Don. Get here. Oh, the crowd are loving it. And I'm absolutely demolishing him. Yeah. Now he knows what we can do to him. He won't tell anyone our secret. Oh, I feel bad now because he's just trying to have a good time on the swings and I'm trying to attack him again. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Don. Okay, for good measure, I did it four more times. Now, <laughs> let's go. Nina does know Mortimer. She doesn't know him well, but I could just this once add something to your house that I'm immediately going to steal back. Here's a phone. Call Mortimer over. Tell him that his lover is dead, but not me, <laughs> Dina. Yeah, um, I'm making a baked Alaska right now. Couldn't possibly turn myself away. Well, it's good to know that he didn't actually give a shit about Dina. I see you over there, Don. What are you planning on doing? If you kick that bin over, you are going on the roof. Okay, good. He learned his lesson. I managed to get Mortimer to say yes to coming over. Now, Nina, your phone has been confiscated. Oh, maybe I should have got my needs up before I did this, but it's okay. I'll have a quick piss and then I'll meet my long lost husband. Morty, baby, it's me. Your wife. I hope you've forgotten what I look like because I don't quite look like her. Oh, he's forgotten altogether. That's why he's not ecstatic to see me. Uh -oh. He's thinking about how much he doesn't like me. <laughs> Why? I am Bella. It's me, I swear. Here, I'm going to go charm you. Oh, he doesn't give a shit. He walked straight past me. Come back. What do you think of this then? Sorry that your girlfriend died here, but what about me? No, okay. <laughs> Let's just hang out until you like me enough. Oh, we're just going to talk through the crack in the sofa because that's normal. Oh, God. My relationship's at 100 and we're still not friends, which means he's not even at 50 yet. <laughs> there we go. Finally, friends. I don't know what's going on. I think I still get the business perk where it boosts relationships for me, but I don't think it does for him. I reckon that's enough. Let me charm you now. She's obsessed with stepping through furniture. I don't know why she's doing it. Mortimer! Fucking hell, that's forward. Oh, look at the time I better go. He wasn't actually kissing me. He was just saying goodbye and the game made him kiss me. <laughs> I'll just quickly throw the kitchen back together. And then I'm going to take him out on a date tomorrow. Can't forget a fire alarm. <laughs> it's very dangerous in this house. Because I sped through her trying to fix that. The sound of her going to the toilet made it sound like she was straining to poo, but she was actually straining to unclog the toilet. Time for a date. Ask out. Let's get to a community lot. Let's not do it at home. That's weird. Nina, you're staying on the roof. Goodbye. Nothing special. I'm just going to go to the diner, but I'm going to pay for the food so that Mortimer thinks I'm not gold digging and I'm actually quite rich myself. Hence the expensive diner meal <laughs> rather than an actual restaurant. Should I be worried about this man? I've never seen this before <laughs> and I'm not convinced it's quite normal. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you to it, pal. You're fine out there. Hey, Morty boy, it's me. I still can't kiss him, even though he kissed me. But that's because our relationship is pretty much non-existent right now. I'm just gonna stay here, block everyone from getting into this restaurant while I kiss fuck out my old husband. Come on then, Mortimer. Let's go get some food. I want to show you that I'm not trying to get your money by buying you something very expensive. I'm running out of time on the date, actually. <laughs> um, where is he? Oh, no. I don't have the time for this. Let me blow a kiss at you. Will that make the date go from okay to good? Oh, it did. <laughs> I really did not think I had the time then. Can I stop dining? I don't want to dine anymore. You two get out of the way. I'm the one doing the kissing. I see you over there, Don. Keep your fucking mouth shut about this, all right? Okay, it's almost a dream day. I'm not enjoying listening to the kissing sounds. Oh, look at me just complimenting every fucker I find. <laughs> I'm on a date. Gala, get your head in the game. I was going to buy food, but I'm scared of jinxing it. So let's end it here. Mortimer, once you've finished having your seven hour long old man piss, let's end the date. Holy cow, I never knew a date could be that much fun. You're a total dream to spend time with. We just gotta do that again, baby. We have done this multiple times. I am your wife. Pay a dining bill and leave. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going home. Mortimer, stay there. Oh, Morty boy. 
Look at those flowers, thank you. I've read this poem a million times, I'm not gonna do it. If you haven't read it, pause it, because I can't do it again. I'll take any money I can, even though I'm quite rich. 55 simoleons for selling that, thank you. I've just got to get you to fall in love with me. Okay, I love you, but you don't love me, so <laughs> let's keep working at it. Mortimer, just love me back. <laughs> I've been trying for so long. It's winter now, which means that I've been doing this for six sim months. I'm really playing the long game here. This has been the longest grift ever. Yes, he loves me. I quickly stick my finger up your bum like I just did then and propose engagement. Yes, he loves it. I know it seems weird that I'm proposing engagement when we're already married, but this is me proposing engagement as an engagement to renew our vows. Anyway, we're moving on up now. Time to head to the goth household. Here we are. Don is also here because I have reset the whole town. So obviously those two are engaged, so I'm going to leave them to it. But I am going to invite over my girl slash wife, who isn't my wife. Oh, Christ, that's not an appropriate greeting at all. Look, guys, I brought your mum home. Hello, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> Cassandra gave me one look. I'm just, nah, not bothered. I've got no time to waste here. Gella, meet me at the altar. We're getting married. Nina, you're not moving in. You're staying on the roof. Is anybody coming to watch or, or are we just doing this on our own? Yep, nobody turned up. Brilliant. Oh, the ghost turned up. So at least someone watched. Gunther Goth. An Agnes Crumplebottom? Hey, girl, you all right? <laughs> you doing good? Shameless self-promotion. My last video was actually me turning Agnes Crumplebottom's life around in The Sims 3. And it's in the description. <laughs> Dad, you've just made me piss myself. <laughs> but let's check those memories because I've married a rich sim. A very rich sim. I've got half a million simoleons. It's true that love is all you need, but a rich spouse sure makes marriage easier to handle. Yes, it sure does. I've managed to re-befriend Cassandra, who has also forgotten who I am just because I've been away for so long, not because I'm not actually her mum. And with it, I've managed to convince her to leave Don because he's a cheating, slimy bastard. Now, I'll play the role as nice mum who isn't a fake and hasn't stolen all of your money. And make you all a nice, lovely pancake breakfast. Here you go, everyone. Made with love. Although, I don't love you. I just want your money. Look at that. A nice family meal. We are all friends now as well. And even Mortimer's here. My initial plan was going to be to kill Mortimer and take the money. But then I'd still have to look after the kids. So... I'm fine with this. <laughs> but Cassandra's taking her mother's advice. It's time to break up with Don. Ah, oh, shit, they're bed. <laughs> I don't even know what I did there. I wasn't paying attention at all. Don's on the way around. He thinks this is going to be a nice chat, but it's just not. Yes, I kissed you, but don't take it as meaning anything. Okay, I'm just going to have to argue with you for as long as I possibly can. Oh, yeah, well, I don't love him anymore. Can I break up or do I have to be like genuinely not happy? I asked him to stay the night and he said yes, but that's just so we can keep arguing. Yeah, stay away from my daughter. <laughs> Fucking Molly Weasley over here. Get yourself inside. I've been going all night and not in the good way. I have literally just been poking this man and not in the good way. <laughs> I have just been fighting him for so long and he just, we can't break up yet. But there can be no loose ends. I don't want him to tell Cassandra that I'm not her real mum. They both changed outfits because they tried to go to work, but I stopped it in time. Finally, break up this relationship. Oh, she's... Very excited. This relationship is not worth it, Don. Get out of here. Take your ring and fuck off. I just wanted to get a good angle of this because I don't like Don. What on earth are you doing? Hold on. I just need to remind him of our deal. The deal being that I can kick his ass at any given moment. And there we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. We managed to fake our way back into a relationship that we never actually in. We just made ourselves look like Bella. And now here we are. Good old Gela Goth. Gela Goth the Grifter. <laughs> Try and say that five times fast. So I'm just going to leave them to keep beating Don up, apparently. But I'm happy with that. So I'm going to end it there. I love doing these multi-household playthroughs. I find them really fun just jumping between the families and kind of forcing them to do what I want them to do. But still fitting with the story that I'm making up as we go along. But thanks for joining me for another one. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. There's plenty more like this to watch on the channel. And if you don't subscribe already, please do. But I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.